Now get ready. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Ryan Ride Mechanic channel. How the heck are you doing today? Alright, today is going to be another trip report from Universal Studios. I had fun here, so let's get into some of the stuff that happened. First of all, showed up at the parking lot. Park hours for today are 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. We pretty much did the whole thing. Alright, we're at Universal Studios today for our last one. Being Ryan the Ride Mechanic does have some opportunities, some uh, perks to it. Watch this. Hold this. See? Cool, right? <laughs> Jurassic Park parking structure? Okay, we're gonna rope drop the bathroom. That's the first thing we're gonna do, right? Yeah. All right. Some of these shots made it on social media. I'm sure you'll find out. <laughs> Here we go, Fast and the Furious ride. In case anyone's wondering, see each one of those booster motors right there? Each one of those, and there's a pair in each set, is about 8,000, I'm sorry, it's not a pair. Each one is about $8,000 a motor, so a lot. My brother sent me this picture, and he said, this is what it's like when Ryan the Ride Mechanic takes pictures. So this is a picture of Ryan the Ride Mechanic taking pictures. I think, I think it's like a star. 40 inches. Shots. What do we got? We got intimate stuff here. Intimate stuff. Yeah. Oh, where'd I go? Please. There we go. Department of Transportation. And more updates on the Fast and the Furious drift coaster. They are working on the structure, mainly the show building, and the construction along this stuff is pretty slow. The track will go extremely fast that's not a big issue it's all about the show building and elements on these rides that's what takes all the time so just some random shots all right done with the simpsons on to the rest always a fun ride fun ride fun ride always always this. just took some nerd shots of the uh fast and the furious Stunt. Drift coaster. Stunt. Is it supercharged drift coaster? I don't know. I don't know. It's probably most of the bill from Intamin is paying from the booster wheels. Holy crap, that's a lot. There's a lot of booster wheels. Such a nice view up here. If you zoom in, you can tell the the Animaniacs live right there. <laughs> Glamour and her own great white shark. As we celebrate our diamond anniversary today, we'll pay tribute to Universal's past and take you behind the scenes to discover why this studio tour is world famous. So whether this is your right hand side, we're traveling down the Universal Trolling Line, which is going to take us to get big represent just a few of the thousands of people that we have raised. We're going to take us like Lunchback back to Dom, Recent ones like Oppenheimer. And in honor of our 60th anniversary, we're going to cover a little studio tour. Our origin goes back to March 15, 1915. That's where our founder, Carl Lindley, first invited the public into our studio to watch silent movies as they were being made. Guests could walk from set to set and check out all the new technology involved in filmmaking. But by the late 1920s, with the advent of sound and the need for quiet on the set, that original walking tour had to come to an end. But then in the 1960s, under the leadership of company chairman Lou Wasserman, executives Al Dorsey and Jay Stein, and they were arriving in tour with the Grand Line bus tours originating in Hollywood would make a stop at our gates. And then on July 15th, 1964, the first of our red and white plan was striped. Here. Here's an excavator that's
That's a fun one. Work out there right now. See that fin? Screaming in the water. I think a shark might the shark might be eating somebody. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Uh -huh. We're totally safe from any sharks though, but just to be extra cautious, we're gonna get behind these gasoline tanks. <laughs> Finish the whole thing, do you get a prize? No. Yeah. I mean, heart diabetes. Do you get diabetes yeah. if you finish the whole thing? This whole thing is it's falling apart. It's zero out of ten dollars. It is not good. That's good. Yeah. It tastes like your skin. That's good? You like that, huh? Coming to you from the, uh, what is this called? Fast and the Furious Hollywood Drift Coaster. New for 2026. Not even gonna be finished next year. Isn't that something else? Yeah. Intamin, booster motors. $8,000 a piece, easy. If I think they're eight, that means they're probably 12. Those things are expensive. All SEW Euro drives. Man, it's gonna be a lot of money. Mission's gonna go up. I don't know what's worse, the fact that you're eating one or the fact that it's almost gone. <laughs> this, this is, this is why we have problems. America, bald eagles, all that stuff. Yeah, funnel okay, cakes in the air, all that there. stuff. Seriously? Should I call 911 now or later? Like, jeez. In case anyone's wondering, it is the show buildings that take up so much time to be built.
picture here. All right, let's see. Each one of those is more than likely going to be a booster wheel. How many are there? Holy crap, too many to count. Four, eight, sixteen. Jesus. Way too much dual tracks dispatching. Five million dollars in booster motors just sitting there. On to the secret life of pets. Never done this one before. What are you puppies staring at? Oh, hey, get you. Are you? was fun. Would you believe that the ride exits through a gift shop? No way, right? First time I'd ever seen that one. We're off to do something for Harry Potter. Not sure what yet, but uh, this area is pretty busy. If they want to do the uh, a big ride down there, I think it's going to be probably too long for us. But we'll wait and see. Watching all these people in their robes. Didn't work out for me. You know, when I came here and just left my bathrobe on, they're like, no, you can't even come in. It's like, what? Wear my bathrobe if I want to. All right, Forbidden Journey. Getting in line for it. it says that it's only 20 minutes. We'll see what it is. This ride's always so much fun. Kind of terrifying when you're on it. You really figure out just how high you are off the ground being suspended. But uh, that's okay. I like doing that sort of stuff. news you heard it first the ride enters the ride exits in a gift shop no way right An overpriced gift shop I don't partake in much but uh, when in that when in town you know like better get the butter beer quite good I do like these Okay, we're here at Jurassic Park ride, Jurassic World, and it's down for refurbishment right now. Yeah, water rides need a ton of refurbishment because you see you get the rust and calcium building up. They've highlighted a spot there that was weak and it's probably going to get replaced as well as another one down there. 
Lots of work going on in the run out in the flume here. These are intake tubes to help with water flow off to the side. You can see them there. They got little fans on them to funnel the water flow down. Fans right in front of it there. And then the I-beams on top, those are the actual running rails where the road wheels sit. The rails on top of that, basically right there, those like that square bar on top, those are the suppression rails that hold the guide wheels down, that force it down into the track. And then you have booster wheels. So when the vehicle comes mostly to a stop, the booster wheels are able to grab it because you can also see here it has magnetic brakes all the way down. The, I believe this is the Vacoma Hydra model, has these magnetic brakes in the run out here to help with the deacceleration. Basically one brake as a soft and as a collector, and then the rest are down here. And then right around this area, if the flow of the current can't restart the boat, which is kind of common, uh, they use the booster wheels to kick it forward until it's able to get out of the runout area. And then once those guide wheels pass this area, it's basically floating on its own at this point. Those, those rails drop down. Those are the road surface rails. They drop down further and the boat's floating around there. And they've got a little bit of raised concrete around there just to help with the road wheel surface as it goes around. All fun stuff, but yep, the uh, nasty corroded steel that you see all over the place down here is the exact same uh, pretty much on every single water ride. You look at stuff like this, you try to fix the corrosion, and then you try to scrape that stuff off and recoat it. But after a handful of years, it's got to get replaced. Just depends on what you could do between here and there. That is a drive wheel assembly out. So the piece on the left is a uh, gearbox, or sorry, the piece on the left is the motor. The piece on the center is the gearbox, and to the right is the hub where the wheel attaches. Eyes on me, blue. And we're moving. Water good air good girl, good girl, good girl, good girl. Okay, okay. Like I... Oh boy, oh boy. Time for the mummy. Visiting with family, so uh, doing the child swap thing. This is in the mummy. It's crazy, right? Look at that. There's. There's a ride queue right there. And then in here, it's all just like sunshine and lollipops. This vehicle building, it's cool.
good I enjoyed it um, and you're never gonna guess it but this one exits in a gift shop it's crazy they would be noticing a trick so much fun so we can turn every gizmo and gadget on earth into a lethal Decepticon hostile so push, 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 push the buttons, push the buttons, push the buttons. Yes, I also have a lot of fun in Mission Space as well. Hey, 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 hey. Forgot this one. Now, think about how many people just scratch their butthole and touch that thing. Wash your hands. I got my battle glasses here. What do you think if you put them on before? When on the escalators, please hold the handrail at all times and attend children carefully. For their safety, children are not permitted to ride the escalator in strollers. Also, there is no smoking please. As you step on the escalators, please stand in the center of the step, keeping your feet forward and avoiding the sides. Face forward at all times when on the escalator and remain standing. For your own safety, please do not sit on the steps. I think this is gonna be the last ride of the day. We're getting on the minions. I can't remember if I've been on this one before or not. It's pretty good though.
Look at that sunset. That's really nice. Absolutely. Hey, did you know that there's an 80 foot drop right there? Because that is kind of terrifying to think you just go down the stairs and there's an 80 foot drop. Like, holy crap. Well, now you know. Fortunately, the water park is closed today. Bonus content, we stopped for some dinner here. Uh, honestly, don't remember what the name of the restaurant is. But anyways, I think we like this place. Gonna call it a day. Do the normal stuff downstairs. Like, subscribe, all those things. Downstairs? Downstairs. You told me you don't have escalators put in for them? No. Oh, wow. No, it's, it's right below their viewer window. It's like... It's like right down there, no down escalators. here. I can't tell because I'm backwards. <laughs> Bye.